If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 5 episode 6, we are going to see how to read properties from file for your test execution. Reading the values from the properties file helps you to automate and also integrate with your CI/CD pipeline and you will be able to maintain the healthy ecosystem. There are multiple ways to implement the properties. You can use the plugin or you can write your own custom coding or you can use the dot properties file in your jmeter folder and you can read it from jmeter by sending the argument hyphen q so here we are going to create a property called test.properties inside the test.properties i am going to mention these variables number of threads url protocol test duration and loop to launch jmeter i am going to use hyphen q argument and i am going to map this properties file so that jmeter will pick up the properties and then we will be able to leverage these variables in our jmeter test plan as you see in the screen in the thread group number of threads value will read it from the number of threads variable name from the properties file similarly you can read any number of value from the properties file in runtime and you will be able to leverage those in your jmeter test execution now let us see a quick demo how we can implement this feature in jmeter this is my simple jmeter test plan in the thread group you can see the variable name number of threads loop and test duration these values is already stored in the test.properties file this file has been placed in the bin folder as you see jmeter bin and test.properties and here we have five variables if you go to the http sampler you can see the protocol and the url this jmeter has launched access without mentioning any arguments if i right click on the thread group and click on validate this will fail because the properties are not associated with this jmeter instance now what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this and i'm going to open my jmeter by mentioning the argument hyphen q and test dot properties and if i hit enter this jmeter will pick up the test dot properties file and you will be able to read the variables in the jmeter test plan now we have launched a jmeter by mentioning the hyphen q argument i'm going to right click on the thread group and i'm going to click on validate now if you go to view results tree you can see t00 underscore example.com and also it is sending the request successfully and received the response successfully this is the way you can read the values of the variables from the properties file in gui mode also known as non cli mode now you can run the test in the cli mode so i'm going to close this jmeter instance going back to my command prompt and i'm going to launch my test using non gui mode hyphen n hyphen t and my test file name hyphen l my run 3 dot jtl and i'm going to associate the properties file by sending the hyphen q and test dot properties if i hit enter during the runtime jmeter will pick up the test dot properties and then it will read the values and then it will execute as per the design after the test execution is completed we can also see the myrun 3jtl in jmeter now let us wait for this execution to be completed and then we can launch jmeter again and see the results test execution has been completed in the summary report i'm going to map myrun3.jtl and i'm going to hit on open you can see the number of samples is 500 and the performance statistics so this is how you'll be able to leverage the properties file and you can map it to the jmeter instance this will help you in automation ci cd and you can maintain your jmeter test plan with less effort
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.